U.S. has been setting up a lot of NGOs within China, like the Ford Foundation, uh, etc. The reason I'm bringing up the Ford Foundation is I want to give an example of how the NGOs are uh, interfering with the Chinese uh, policies. In 2015, there was a documentary. Um, it's called Under the Doom. It was very influential. It got lots of attention when it first came out. The producer's name is uh, Chai Jing. Now, the documentary is about the pollution and environmental problems in China. China does have a pollution problem, and that documentary is very good at describing all those problems and complaints. And, you know, it's basically describing like China, like a horrible place, basically a hell. Okay. I don't want to say that it's not true what he was talk she was talking about. At the same time, any country going through very rapid uh, industrialization, it has that kind of experiences, whether it's London or Los Angeles, you know, anywhere. They, this, this is a process that every major country industrialization process will go through. Not to mention that China was already, the Chinese government was already fully aware of the situation that it has been, and they have been working on it. It just, the things doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. This documentary was very one-sided. It's all about how bad it is. It doesn't present any solutions, nor does it mention any of the historical context and the fact that the Chinese government has been starting the work uh, to improve these problems, to solve these problems. So it's very uh, one-sided, uh, I think, uh, uh, dishonest to the degree, uh, because certain things that she is saying, she's making the connection, uh, for example, that her daughter was born with some problem and she just blamed always on the environmental problem. Well, her daughter was actually born in the United States. She herself was a smoker, and but she just is somehow uh, blaming all on the environment in China. That's caused her daughter's health problem, for example. So it's very uh, biased. And that documentary was sponsored by no other than Ford Foundation. She didn't review that. She said she self-financed that, but later it turns out she actually had a sponsor uh, support from the Ford Foundation, for example. So you see, within China, these kind of things happen, that uh, the NGOs are from the United States, that they support this or that person and doing this or that show or program, etc., cetera, um, directly or indirectly criticizing the Chinese government. And in this particular case, I think it's particularly bad because environmental issues, she knew it is an issue. It is an issue that everybody uh, can relate to. So it, it was the documentary become an instant hit and got lots of attention. And the government immediately felt the heat, like uh, people are uproar about this, et cetera. And so it quickly was pulled off and it was banned and you know it's put off from all the major channels, et cetera. So this is just one example, like domestically, how these NGOs are uh, using different means to put forward information that is biased and, and uh, uh, lopsided and unfairly reporting 